Hello guys. Um, welcome to my update on the B58 Hustler. Um, you may think I haven't done much since the last time. However, um, I got a mail um, from Norm. Hello Norm, how are you? Thank you very much for the kind words and uh, for the update, for the heads up. I appreciate that. I appreciate a lot. Thanks Norm. Uh, Norm is a very, very cool guy with uh, very good work. Uh, Norm Lajoie, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, buddy. Um, if some of you are not in this channel, well, you should be. Uh, I believe you are because uh, he has a hell of a subscriber, so <laughs> he's a good guy. Um, and he sent me a mail, <coughs> pardon me, um, saying, and uh, well, I, I, I knew part of what he told me that I was going to be to to build one of the largest silver models that exists yeah the B29 and the, well I have a few of them uh, 172 I have over there B29 that I've shown to you uh, but back then I had no knowledge on how silvering and uh, silvering uh, painting with Alplat, uh, aluminium, the aluminium, all of that it has almost a science uh, and I don't and I'm not an expert so what I've done was following his advice um, I tried to polish it again that gap over here and I will keep on polish until it's very soft but it's it's getting better and better and better um, in the back here, a little bit over here, a little bit over here too. Um, inside, you can see a gap, but it's not a gap. Uh, I have already polished it again with an exacto knife and uh, some thousand grip and microfiber cloth, uh, microfiber cloth, because when you apply the primer, it stays rough. The surface stays rough, and if you clean with microfiber it stays very soft and very light it's it's as a steel would be so first of all i i have to say i have washed this model in, in detergent uh washing detergent um i have i have i've never said that i've never said that but i, I think it's one of the best things you 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 can do in a model so that the paint can really uh, get a grip on it. Um, I, I washed this model. Then I obviously, you all know, sanded, you all saw that. Applied a primer, black primer. Um, I have to say this stuff is awesome. Um, I recommend it. Uh, it's, it's Vallejo. It's Vallejo. Uh, aerosol primer. Um, I think it's 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 fantastic. That was the first layer that you saw. Uh, then, and following Norm's advice, thank you again, Norm. Um, I sanded a little bit more. Then applied a little bit of uh, silver, um, silver leaf, um, because uh, silver and that I knew, but uh, Norm also told me that silver surfaces has a weird uh, aspect if you don't polish them very well if you don't sand it very well or if you make a, not, a, a little a little mistake in the surface the silver lets let that uh, makes that very very much clear to see and you are able to see every gap that you have not filled so in which regards to silver or aluminium surfaces you must be patient uh, and I don't want to mess this up I don't want to fuck this one up that's what I said remember so and this is my favorite uh, 
this is my mosquito. To Lenny, it's a mosquito. To me, it's this one. Um, so sometimes when I finished, I primed it again and then applied a little bit of silver and these, I mean, it's silver just so I'm able to see all the what's wrong and what's not wrong. Um, I will next, I can tell you next, that I will uh, <coughs> send it with a thousand grit. I'm going to wash it again in dishwashing detergent. <coughs> uh, I'm trying to keep the sanding uh, during this build from here now to a minimum so I'm going to use squadron white putty for filling and I'm going to smooth it with this with nail washer uh, nail remover I think it's called a nail polish remover um, because uh, it, it gives a, a softness to the the putty and um, it helps fill those surfaces and it's it's I I didn't know but this is great actually it's something that you can buy in a store and it's great um, then um, I'm going to give him another one or two coats of um, primer I have here another one white primer as you can see or black primer also so I mean and um, then I'm going to use, I don't know if I'll clad, um, I don't have too much I'll clad left, I have to say, and I still don't have the, um, the airbrush, I don't know why. You all guys, when you get something on the eBay, one week, two weeks, three weeks, I've ordered it for a month, uh, I guess. I'm unlucky, I mean. And then I'll use, I have here chrome silver, uh, 191 chrome silver. I have metal polished aluminium. I have metal coat steel polished. So, <coughs> Mika Silver TS76 from Tamiya. I mean, <coughs> I have a lot of um, options here. Um, as you know, uh, this model has um, um, other panels that are in a different kind of metal. Uh, so I, I'm going to use different kinds of um, aluminiums and uh, maybe some Guns Essenzio Mr. Metal Color Stainless. And then over sprayed with the clad to the jet exhausts. Um, I don't know. One thing's for sure. Uh, I want to get a degree of shine in this model very high. Um, I remember that I can use the nose of this plane is totally black. And uh, if I want to add some shine, please correct me if I'm wrong, okay? If I want to add some shine to this to this uh, plane, I have to use obviously uh, colors, shiny colors. Um, I'm going to try. I have uh, uh, one a spray of these ones, but for for car paint, black for car paint. Um, I have an old model over there. I'm going to spray it with that paint, and I'm going to see if. Uh, if the final shine and touch, if I like it, I'm going to use it here. With very careful, obviously, I don't want him to conflict with uh, the putty and all the Tamiya paint, so it can be nasty. I don't want that. So I have a, a model uh, in the other room. Um, I've already given more or less the same treatment as this one because I want to see if it's compatible or not with that paint car um, paint so I cannot fuck this one up um, I already remember I told you that the gear wells um, weren't uh, compatible um, 
I didn't make them, I just obviously I cut them and I lost all this detail. It's it's a shame. But if I want to put him in flight, I have to lose that detail obviously. So it's like this it's for the gear in front and I'm going to make the same procedure as the other ones so now I'm washing this model again um, tomorrow I'll let it let it dry um, I'll use nail polish remover to sand a little bit more and uh, well this one is going slowly but it's the way it have to be uh, I mean, oh, uh, Ekoboshi, thank you very much for all the mails. It's been very useful. I didn't know you were part of the Thero 5, so, uh, <laughs> so you didn't have bombers, but there were a time when you had bombers, and these were the, <laughs> the bombers you had. So, um, thank you very much for all your mails and all your support and help. Uh, I will try not to let you down on this one okay um, I have now 99 subscribers uh, I don't know why but I I am enjoying it a lot thank you very much thank you very much for that um, I just wanted to say that um, I'm anxious to see this one build uh, and at the same time cautious um, I would like to say to you thank you very much for all your support all your comments um, it helps me a lot as I have already told you um, and um, all the best to you thanks to all subscribers thank you very much uh, even a couple of days I made one for my 50th subscriber uh, I will have to do another one for the 100s I guess and thank you very much oh and Carlito do it do it maybe I'll do it maybe I'll do it I'll do some armor and a little diorama who knows thank you very much all the best to you keep modeling please keep modeling <laughs>